The Human Skeleton System The human skeleton is an internal framework of the human body providing its structure, support, protection and movement. The skeleton system comprises of bone, cartilages and joints. There are basically three components of human skeleton system bones, cartilage and joints. First let us learn about bones. Bone is a tough and rigid form of fibrous connective tissue that provides strength and support to the human skeleton. Bones are total 206 in number. Now let's learn about cartilage. Cartilage is a strong flexible tissue that covers the bone at the joints. It covers the end of the bones and offers support, flexibility and resistance to compression. Cartilage is not as tough and rigid as bone. Joints Now let's get to learn about joint. A joint occurs between two or more bones, bone and cartilage and also between cartilage and cartilage. It provides mobility to the human skeleton. No movement of any part of the skeleton is possible without joints. Human skeleton has two parts. Axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Let's learn about axial skeleton. Axial skeleton consists of skull, vertebral column and thoracic cage. Let's learn about skull. Skull forms the framework of the head and is a heart structure made up of small bones. The skull is divided into two parts, cranium bones and facial bones. Skull consists of 22 bones which include 8 bones of the cranium and 14 of the face. The cranium encloses and protects the brain and its bones are flat and immovable. The facial bone form upper and lower jaws. The upper jaw is attached to the cranium and lower jaw is movable and helps us to talk and eat. Vertebral column or backbone. It is a flexible bone column composed of 33 vertebrae which are small ring-like bones connecting the base of the skull to the tailbone. It is also called spine or vertebral column. It is further classified into five categories. Cervical, that's the neck region which has seven bones. Thoracis, that's the chest region which has 12 bones. Lumbar, that's the belly region which has five bones. Sacral, that's the hip region which has five bones. Cochigeal, that's the tail region. It consists of four bones. The bones of neck region, chest and belly comprise of 24 bones and are fit together with the help of elastic cartilage. The five sacral bones are fused to form a triangular bone called the sacrum. At the tip of the sacrum, the final part of the vertebral column projects slightly outward. This is called as the coccyx or the tailbone or the spinal column. It is composed of 3 to 5 coccygeal vertebrae that fuse together. Vertebral column runs from the base of the skull to the tailbone forming a hollow tube thus also protecting the spinal cord passing through it. Rib cage. 
Rib cage partially encloses the chest region and is made up of 12 pairs of ribs and median plate like structure called sternum. Ribs are long curved bones joined to the spinal vertebrae to form a cage. It protects the underlying vital organs namely lungs, heart and some part of liver etc. Appendicular skeleton Appendicular skeleton is the skeleton of appendages of human body and includes shoulder bone, pelvic bone, skeleton of upper limb and skeleton of lower limb. Shoulder bone Shoulder bone is formed by collarbone at the front and the shoulder blade at the back. It encloses a socket-like cavity into which fixes the ball of the upper arm. This forms a ball and socket joint. This girdle is also called as pectoral girdle. Pelvic bone Pelvic bone is also called as pelvic girdle. It is made up of strong bones to balance entire weight of the body. Arm bone. Arm bone is the upper limb made up of humerus, radius, ulna, carpals and metacarpals and phalanges. All these bones are joined by hinge joints which allow the limb to move only in one direction. Leg bone Leg bone is the lower limb made up of femur, tibia, fibula, tarsals, metatarsals and phalanges. All these bones are joined by hinge joints which allow the limb to move only in one direction. Knee is covered by a cap-like structure called as patella or a kneecap.